There is no doubt that Rio de Janeiro is one of the best destinations to travel in Brazil. In addition to its beautiful beaches, the state also hosts a series of cultural sites and historical. But what are the most beautiful places to visit? Below, important tips for your travel itinerary. Check the main attractions and unmissable tours. One of the most visited places in Rio de Janeiro is located at an altitude of 710 meters in the top of Corcovado. Yes, we are talking about the imposing 38-meter tall statue of Christ. Redentor, one of the most beautiful postcards of Rio and Brazil. The view is simply wonderful. Highlighting the inexplicable works of nature in the shape of the heart of Lagoa de Rodrigo de Freitas and Sugar Loaf Mountain in the background, Corcovado Mountain is among the main attractions. Attractions in Rio de Janeiro, inserted in the Tijuca National Park, the largest urban forest in the world. Access to Christ the Redeemer can be done by little train, on a railroad from 1884, by van or on foot. Where does the Corcovado or Christ the Redeemer trail begin? The route starts at Parque Lage, located at the foot of Moro do Corcovado, on Rua Jardim Botanico. The various viewpoints along the way reveal magnificent landscapes, and prove what we already knew for a long time. Rio de Janeiro really is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. The ascent is tough and yields about three hours round trip, but clearly worth it. In addition to the Atlantic forest and the natural viewpoints, along the way you will come across several waterfalls, capuchin monkeys, tamarinds, different types of butterflies and hundreds of exotic birds. Sugarloaf Mountain shares one of the most breathtaking views of the wonderful city with Corcovado. Through the natural viewpoints, you will have almost all of Rio de Janeiro in your field of vision. The tourist complex is formed by three hills, Urca, Sugarloaf, and Babylonia. The route is done in cable car, known by the name of cable car. Tickets can be purchased on site or through the Internet. Another way to explore the complex is by walking the Sugar Loaf Trail. The trail starts in the left corner of Praia Vermelha, Urca. The climb is steep and the walk takes approximate 1 h round trip with a medium degree of difficulty. The best time to visit Sugar Loaf Mountain is between at 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Allow at least three hours for this tour. The site is supported by restaurants and snack bars. It is the most charming urban beach in Rio de Janeiro. The beach and neighborhood of Ipanema gained fame in the early 1960s with the bossa nova song Girl from Ipanema by Tom Jobim and Vinicius de Moray. The place became a stronghold for artists and intellectuals who gathered in their bars with sidewalk tables for drinking and conversation. Ipanema Beach is located in the south zone from Rio, between the beaches of Arpoador and Leblin. Around here, you can always find beautiful, healed and cool people. Look what a beautiful thing, full of grace. It is impossible to visit Ipanema Beach and not think about the beauty that became famous in the music of Tom Jobim and Vinicius de Moraes. To walk the two kilometers of beach between Arpoador and Jardim Delaware Alla, you can rent a bike or get inspired by Hello Pinheiro and simply do a walk on a sweet swing towards the sea. And don't be surprised to find Tom Jobim along the way. The musician statue was inaugurated in 2014 and stands right at the beginning of Avenida Vieira Sudo, close to Praia do Arpoador. The soundtrack is provided by a nearby kiosk, which plays bossa nova and the compositions that immortalize Tom.
Legend has it that Ungra Dosris has 365 islands, one for each day of the year. What is certain is that it brings together the largest concentration of islands on the entire Brazilian coast, mostly covered by a vast vegetation bathed by calm, crystalline, emerald waters, and with enchanting beaches. The farthest and the largest of the islands occupies an area of 193 square kilometers, Ilha Grande, with beautiful beaches, some completely deserted areas that represent true secretly hidden treasures. To explore Ilha Grande in depth and the other bays of Engra, you must have a speedboat and an experienced sailor. But, don't worry, there are several agencies offering tours from Abreu, Ilha Grande, or from Caizda, Santa Luzia, and Grados Reefs. Write down the unmissable attractions there. Ilha Grande, Praia do Aventureiro, Lopez Mendes, Saco do Sul, Lagoa Azul, and Praia do Caxadaco. Engra dos Reis, Botinus Islands, Island of Japoya, Ilha de Cataguases, Praia do Aventureiro, Lopez Mendes, Saco do Su, Lagoa Azul, and Praia do Caxadaco. Engra dos Reis, Botinus Islands, Island of Japoya, Ilha de Cataguases. Praia do Dentista and Praia do Secreto and Praia Pingo d'Agua. Where it is? O Municipality of Ingra dos Reis is located on the south coast of Fluminense, on the so-called Costa Verde, 156 kilometers from the city of Rio de Janeiro. We recommend staying at least five days. Real do Cabo is a mandatory stop destination on a trip along the North Fluminense coast. It is located in Lagos region, a few kilometers from Buzios and Cabo Frio. The city of Rio is 165 kilometers away and access. Take the BR-101 via Lagos. It is worth noting that the municipality of Areo is home to some of the most beautiful in Rio de Janeiro. To discover and enjoy the best of Areo, schedule three days and embark on a boat ride. Impossible not to fall in love with the neon blue color of seawater. No wonder, the destination is known as the Brazilian Caribbean, Paradise of the Atlantic, and capital of diving. During the boat trip, you will get to know one of the most beautiful places in Brazil and in the world. The Ilha do Feral, surrounded by green mountains with up to 390 meters of altitude. The island has 5 kilometers long, listed by UNESCO as an Atlantic Forest Biosphere Reserve. Other worthwhile points of interest, Praia do Pontal do Atalaia, Praia do Forno and Praia Grande, unmissable at sunset time. If you like peaceful surroundings, visit Areal do Cabo during the week, but outside of school holidays. The peninsula of Armaqueo dos Fusios forms one of the most beautiful scenarios in the state of Rio. Presence as a destination of excellence punctuated by the surrounding natural beauty, good hotels, restaurants, and the cosmopolitan environment. It is one of the most sophisticated and trendy resorts on the Fluminense coast. The high season there runs from December until the end of Carnival. Located in the Lagos region, the peninsula it houses about 20 beaches for the most diverse tastes. How many days to stay? Schedule a minimum of three nights. If you choose to stay longer, include a visit to neighboring Areal do Cabo and Cabo Frio in your itinerary. Those who love water sports will certainly love the beaches of Jeriba, Raza, Manguinhos and Brava. Then, on the list of the most graceful beaches are Azida and Azadinha, Tartaruga, Faradurinha, Foca, and Alho de Boi. Naturist Beach. 
The beaches of Armaqueo and Porto de Barra are the main cabins to watch the sunset in Buzios. On the trendy Rua dos Pedras and on the famous Orla Bardo, you will find the more varied restaurants, bars, art galleries, and several shops open until midnight. Located on the Costa Verde, Parody is one of the most beautiful historic cities in the state of Rio and in Brazil. Its vast and rich historical and cultural heritage has made the city recognized by UNESCO as a heritage of humanity. Each corner has a story to tell and arouse the curiosity of those who visit her. In addition to the charming colonial houses and churches, Parody still hosts portions of the Mata Atlantica preserved in places such as the Serra de Bocaina National Park, the Environmental Protection Area, Du Kairuku, the Jotinga Reserve and the Serra do Mar State Park. The surroundings of the city are full of waterfalls, beaches and isolated islands. Boat trips to part daily Du Cais de Cidade are essential to discover the best beaches in Parody, RJ. Destiny is also a great starting point for those who want to explore Trindade. Continuing with the tips on the most beautiful places in Rio de Janeiro, Trindade, a peaceful fishing village in the municipality of Parody. The destination is among the most roots places on the Fluminense coast, attracting hippies since the 1970s. The village and its surroundings still preserve a tranquil aura. Three days integers in Trindade invigorate anyone, but if you want more rest days, just stay. The region is full of beautiful beaches, natural pools, waterfalls and trails. Some areas of Trinidad they are part of the Serra de Bocaina National Park and are preserved by ICM Bio. The distance between Parody and Trindade is just over 20 kilometers, traveled by the BR-101. The path for those leaving the capital of Rio de Janeiro can be made by Governador Mario Covas or Presidente Dutra Highways. The journey by car takes approximately 5 hours. It is the largest coastal city in the Lagos region, in the state of Rio de Janeiro. Cabo Frio is a destination recommended for its natural charms, historical activities and delicious restaurants. The charm of the center history begins in the emblematic Barro de Passagem, located on the right bank of the Itajuru Canal. The place is the landmark of the city's history housing colonial buildings listed by the historic heritage, such as the Church of São Benedito. The natural beauty of the city is visible in its beaches and islands, some of them with excellent natural conditions. For the practice of nautical sports, in the list of the best beaches in Cabo Frio are Praia dos Conchas, Praia do Forte and Praia do Perro. If you like peaceful surroundings, schedule a visit to Cabo Frio for a week, but outside of school holidays. What are the best months to visit the city? April and May are months, usable for enjoying the beaches, with temperatures that can reach 30 degrees Celsius. It is located in the municipality of Resend close to the city of Penedo, in the south of Rio de Janeiro. To unveil the natural beauty from Serena do Alambari, enjoy a weekend in contact with nature. The destination is located at east side of the Itatia National Park and Serra de Mantaquira, west of the road that leads to Visconde. From Maua, its territory covers the communities of Serena and Capilinha, protecting the upper part of the watersheds of the Alambari and Piripatinga rivers. Serena has intact nature and typical rurality, beautiful waterfalls, varied fauna, and flora. Scroll to trail that leads to Poco do Su and Poco do Dinosauro, voted the most beautiful waterfalls in Serena do Alambari. In addition to these places, enjoy the incredible waterfalls and wells of crystalline water located within the area of the Camping Clube do Brasil. The places that stand out the most are 
Poco Esmeralda, Poco de Sauna, and Poco de Cima. Here's the tip. The region is made up of many stunning waterfalls and a mountainous landscape. The Serenia APA ecosystem is very well preserved, which is an important investment for the development of outdoor sports, adventure tourism, and ecotourism. The headquarters of the farm was then effective for the surroundings of a small mountain, passing, from then on, to be known as Serenia by cattle traders and drovers who were destined for the San Francisco River. The locality was intended to raise cattle and serve as a resting place for men and animals. Thanks so much for watching the video this far. And if you liked the video, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel, so you'll be helping us to post more content like this, made especially for you. See you in the next video.